The Black Death. A devastating pandemic that struck Europe in the 14th century, around the year 1347. It was like a nightmare come to life, spreading like wildfire across the continent. It was carried by tiny creatures called fleas that lived on rats. These rats hitched rides on ships, unknowingly transporting the deadly bacteria to new places. Once the disease arrived in a town, it spread rapidly among people. It caused gruesome symptoms like high fever, swelling of the lymph nodes, called buboes, and dark patches on the skin, which gave it the name Black Death. <gasps> the Black Death changed the course of history, wiping out an estimated 25 to 50 million people, which was a significant portion of Europe's population at the time. In this tale, imagine the horror of watching loved ones fall ill and succumb to this relentless sickness. And within the walls of a modest cottage nestled in the English countryside, one family struggled to survive against the tide of despair. The once vibrant village now echoed with the cries of the afflicted and the mournful tolling of church bells. Death lurked in every shadow, and the people lived in constant fear of its icy grip. A man and his wife are torn between hope and despair as they watch over their son, who lies feverish and pale, his body ravaged by the plague. But amidst the darkness, there was a flicker of light. The love that bound the family together burned brighter than any candle in the night. The man worked tirelessly to provide for his family despite the plague, his strong hands forging hope from the fires of despair. The woman taking care of home and hearth in the hopes that their son will make a full recovery. But as the days stretched into weeks and the plague tightened its grip on the village, the woman's heart grew heavy with dread. Each cough from the boy <coughs> felt like a dagger to her soul, each passing hour a cruel reminder of their fragile mortality. And then, one fateful night, as the moon cast its ghostly glow upon the earth, tragedy struck with a merciless blow. The Grim Reaper, clad in the cloak of darkness, had come for their beloved child. With trembling hands, the woman opened the door to find the village priest, his face drawn with sorrow, bearing the dreaded news. And as the flames of the funeral pyre consumed the boy, mortal remains, the woman heart shattered into a million pieces, forever haunted by the specter of loss. For in the midst of darkness, even the brightest flames can be extinguished, leaving nothing but ashes in their wake. A tragic but all too common end to a truly devastating time in history. For more historical tales like these, like, comment, and subscribe to Chrono Tales.